Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Citroen C4. The bulk of cars in Russia is either a 5-speed manual gearbox of the BE4 series with the weakest engine or 88, a modification of the infamous AL4 with naturally inspired 120 VTI. Rarely, but there are cars with 150 horsepower THP or 115 horsepower EC5 with a 6-speed icing automatic transmission and diesel with a 6-speed manual. The Europeans were also offered a robot with one clutch, a failed option, and we do not have it at all. There are almost no problems with the manual gearbox of the BE4 series. It's a pity that the new clutch has a modified release bearing of a not very successful design. Its resource has significantly decreased and rarely exceeds 100,000 km. The cable drive is still quite reliable up to runs of about 200,000 km, but doesn't lack moisture and long downtime. Otherwise, everything is quite reliable, except that the synchronizers of first and third gears begin to abut with runs of about 200,000, but this doesn't constitute a big problem. Bearings are quite reliable if the oil is changed occasionally and its level is monitored. No noticeable features of operation of the second generation C4 were noted. The box works as usual, it even gets to repair a little earlier, since the EP6 series motors are very hot and the cooling system is here with a heat exchanger. A large external radiator and filter are highly recommended, since there is enough space under the bumper. The 6-speed automatic transmission, which Citroen stubbornly refers to as EAT6, is the ICN TF's ATSC, well known from Volvo cars. These boxes are assembled in France and are now actively used by PSA Group. The door converter GT here has a very weak blocking pad and the automatic transmission algorithms allow it to wear out very intensively. For those who like to drive, it can end very early, with run slightly over 100,000 km, with the glue layer getting into the oil and severe contamination of the valve body. If you drive without fanatism, then the resource of the gas turbine engine is enough for 200,000. The second problem is the wear of the valve body, in particular the channels of its body when operating with dirty oil. If it up to 200,000 oil is changed irregularly and the machine is operated to its fullest, then there is a high probability that the valve body at 250 plus will already require repair. Even with all changes at intervals of 60,000, but with an overly active driving style, the resource of 250,000 is not at all guaranteed. Problems with the valve body entail trouble with oil starvation of the direct drum and the C2 clutch package break, bend and pressure leaks with the oil pump and wear of its sleeve. Also, the condition of the oil pump is affected by the wear of the gas turbine engine and its vibration. In general, the box is quite reliable, but only if well maintained. If we restrict ourselves to routine oil changes and at the same time drive in the Russian style, then twitching in 5-6 gears due to wear of the C2 package will begin after 120-150 thousand mileage and repairs will be expensive. Unlike SU platform Peugeot 308408, Citroën C4 was equipped not only with print series engine and diesel DV6, but also with good old cast iron TU5 GP4 in their modernized version ES5 ES5F. True, they do not appear in mass catalogs for the model, but 110 horsepower and 115 horsepower gasoline engines are exactly them. TU5 hatchbacks are by far the best choice if you don't mind a manual gearbox. While the C4 Saturn was equipped with an EC5 engine, in fact the same TU5, but with a phase regulator on the intake shaft and meeting Euro 6. After 2016, it became possible to buy the C4 Saturn even in the version with the upgraded EC5F and automatic transmission icing. In the total volume of proposals, these two motors make up a good quarter of all cars and are most preferred. In fact, they have no major problems. Leaks, lambda failures, floating idle speed are little things that are not worth considering against the backdrop of the entire set of problems in the print series engines. With these motors, even a rather capricious cooling system behaves well, and the radiators of the stoves are not clogged with sludge. Unfortunately, most of the offers on the secondary market are cars with EP6 prints. By the time the second generation C4 appeared, this extremely unfortunate line of engines had been seriously updated, having received a new timing belt and a bunch of improvements. In general, the motors have really become more reliable, but the list of weak points in the upgraded EP6C remains extensive. The resource of the timing chain still buckles the imagination, but it almost always runs at more than 100,000 and the camshaft almost doesn't turn in case of problems with the vacuum pump. The chain tensioner has become more reliable and there is even a repair one with an increased overhang. 
The price of components has also dropped. A replacement kit at the beginning of 2020 cost around 13,000 rubles. It's a pity the resource is still not very predictable. Dropping saddles are rare, but the problem still occurs. And if you do not stop the engine in time, then there will be nothing to repair. It will tear off the valve and punch a hole in the piston. Even if you're lucky and nothing else had suffered, the cylinder head material is not cooked. It's made of extruded secondary aluminum in granules. And if the seat surface of the seat is badly damaged, then of the available technologies only aluminum brazing remains, which doesn't provide the required strength. Fortunately, before the seat falls out, the control unit will display a valvetronic error for a long time due to insufficient valve travel. Knowing about this problem, you can have time to get to the service. Oil leaks are observed from the oil filter glass gaskets, from the pan, well cover, from the oil pump well cable gland and from everywhere in general. Cracks in the cylinder head in cars with a disconnectable pump drive on late EP6C engines from 2010-2011 CVIN and falling out of the internal cylinder head plug between the timing chain cavity and the cooling channels also occur regularly and the later problem instantly drains the cooling system into oil. In such cases, the motor suffers immediately from both scuffing and overheating, if you do not stop at the same minute. The valve for regulating the base pressure of the oil pump added to the design of the motors after restyling brought two problems at once. Basically, its wiring is corny since a gland kit with a piece of wire is on sale. But as you approach 100,000 km, the valve itself begins to wedge. And it doesn't matter that in the absence of power to the valve it switches to the maximum pressure mode. When the valve is jammed, it can remain in the minimum pressure position and after the engine warms up, it will catch the liners and camshafts. The thermostat block is still the same consumable, although after 2012 it has replaced the heating element on the thermostat and temperature sensor. These elements often fail, especially on supercharged cars where the thermostat control range is higher. The oil level and temperature sensor also doesn't differ in reliability, and in a critical situation it would not allow the engine to start. The phase regulator valves received a grid, but still their resource can be guaranteed only up to 50-60 thousand kilometers. The pump received a non-working body and a metal impeller, but it still has a small resource and its drive elements need constant monitoring. The drive disconnect system remains capricious and wears out not only the belt but also the rollers. In addition, at high revolutions, the pump roller is prone to slipping. Most driver parts last 3-5 years due to the high operating temperature of the motor. The potential resource of the piston group is about 200-250 thousand kilometers, but usually everything ends much earlier due to coking, detonation and oil consumption. Burned out pistons and oil burner per liter per thousand occur even on atmospheric engines. Add to this a surprisingly confused design and expensive repairs with not very convenient maintenance. As an example, the ill-fated battery platform, which is attached approximately like a cylinder head with 8 bolts and one is twisted from the wheel arch and Zauber Tiley. This platform will have to be removed to access the thermostat and pipes. A decrease in the operating temperature can seriously improve the situation as a whole. There are options for purely software solutions, since the margin of the performance of the thermal element in the thermostat allows it to be thrown down to 72 degrees instead of 105-115. Moody is also popular with drilling the thermostat well plate and installing an external thermostat directly into the radiator hose. True, in the latter case, the fans on machines without air conditioning will have to be controlled separately, but if the air conditioner is on, then the firmware of the thermostat heating element connected and adjusted at 80-90 degrees of opening significantly reduces the chances of almost all breakdowns. With a decrease in oil change interval to 7-10 thousand and using only high-quality, ash-free, non-cooking oils, motors sometimes show a good resource even without modifying the cooling system or with a natural drop in operating temperature due to wear of the thermostat valve to 98-95 degrees. But in any case, the engine design will remain excessively complex for such power, and in practice all these complications at best give a difference in fuel consumption compared to the TU5 JP4 within half a liter per 100 km with incomparable reliability and operating cost. And often the consumption with EP6C is even higher by a liter or two, since it is unlikely that it is in a completely serviceable condition. When buying a car with prints, try to access your strength sensibly. Most likely, in the near future, you will know everything about decarbonization, high-quality oils, you will have a list of things that need to be changed in the near future, and a bunch of service contacts that will gladly help you with this. 
If you need a car for a long time, then it's better to look for a more expensive option with a different engine. If you want a relatively vigorous version with a turbo engine, then it is better to think about buying something else. In principle, because the cost of operation doesn't correlate with the dynamics in any way. Diesel engines of the DV6 line are rare, apart from the typical diesel problems, little is known about them. And the 1.2 with a supercharger of the Pure Tech series is even rarer. The latest engines are not at all a 3-cylinder version of Prince, as many think, but a completely new development. Moreover, it turned out to be quite successful for one single butt. This motor uses a timing belt in an oil bath. According to the experience of Ford 1.0 EcoBoost engines, this combination not only has an unpredictable resource, but it's also very expensive to repair. The price of replacing a belt at Ford is more than one and a half hundred thousand troubles. On this information about the problems of Citroën C4 is exhausted. If you know more or not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.